Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, Lord of the universe, we invoke your blessing on us as we bring the body of our brother departed to this honored place where the people of our nation are represented at the center of government. In honoring our faithful servant, we are reminded that when he was known in this life, he was an influence on his family, his friends, his comrades in arms. But now that he is known only to your grace, he will be forever an influence on all people throughout our native land. By his presence here, O oh Lord, he is a representative for all and of the fundamental truths taught by your word and reflected, we pray, in the statutes of our land. By our presence here, O oh Lord, we affirm that every life is sacred and precious and that there are noble principles which are preserved only by those willing to make the supreme sacrifice. So bless us in our mourning, O God, that we might increase in spiritual stature, strengthen our resolve to do what is right, and reaffirm our belief in the sacred cause of freedom's right. Amen. Hear the word of God as it is recorded in Psalm 90. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction and sayest, Return, ye children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, Yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servant, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us, Yea, the work of our hands, establish thou it. Amen. An American hero has returned home. God bless him. 
We may not know of this man's life, but we know of his character. We may not know his name, but we know his courage. He is the heart, the spirit, and the soul of America. Today, a grateful nation mourns the death of an unknown serviceman of the Vietnam conflict. This young American understood that freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. He may not have wanted to be a hero, but there was a need. In the Iron Triangle off Yankee Station at Khe San, over the Red River Valley, he accepted his mission and did his duty, and his honest patriotism overwhelms us. We understand the meaning of his sacrifice and those of his comrades yet to return. This American hero may not need us, but surely we need him. In Longfellow's words, so when a great man dies, for years beyond our ken, the light he leaves behind him lies upon the paths of men. We must not be blind to the light that he left behind. Our path must be worthy of his trust. We must not betray his love of country. It's up to us to protect the proud heritage now in our hands and to live in peace as bravely as he died in war. On this day, as we honor our unknown servicemen, we pray to Almighty God for his mercy, and we pray for the wisdom that this hero be America's last unknown. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, we are grateful for thy gift of life and hope. Today we have witnessed an historic and sacred moment in the life of our nation. Words, ceremonies cannot adequately express our gratitude for the gallantry and heroism of a son of our nation known only to thee. The thoughts that emanate from our hearts reaffirm our commitment to the ideals of freedom and the quest for peace. Accept with loving kindness and grace the soul of this great American. May his selfless devotion and self-sacrifice be an inspiration to all Americans. And thus, dear Lord, through his deeds, we reaffirm our love for thee and our loyalty to our country. As we mourn him, we, his family, are strengthened by the resolve that this nation shall always be the land of the free and the home of the brave. Amen. 